you can record your practice sessions on the CD burner. The CD burner records CDRs and CDRWs, but there are a couple of caveats. CDRWs are not playable on a regular CD player. High speed CDs that cannot record at the normal speed, or 1x, are usually problematic and sometimes a CD burner will not even recognize these discs in a tray. Printable CDs should also not be used. They are problematic and can damage the laser mechanism. It's easy to use. First, power it up by pushing the power button in the upper left hand corner. Next, open the tray and put your blank CD in the tray. Push the open close button in the upper right to do this and be sure to put the CD in label side up. Then put the CD recorder in the record mode by pushing the record button. A thin red light on the record button indicates the CD burner is in the record mode. It's not recording yet, it's just ready to record. At this point you could start recording, but it's best to first make sure you're recording at the right level. To do this, you have to calibrate the record level, and it's simple to do. Take the CD labeled Tone Disc, which should be on top of CD Player 1, and play it on either CD player. The Tone Disc simply plays a constant tone, so whatever level you turn it up to, it stays at that level, constantly. Turn it up so that it's at 100% modulation, or right smack dab at the very beginning of the red zone. Then, adjust the input level with the small knob labeled Input on the lower right. Adjust it so that it's between negative 12 and negative 20 on the CD burner. Definitely do not go above negative 12. Now the CD burner has been set for the right record level and it's ready to record. To start recording, simply push the play pause button. The CD burner will start recording. When you push the play pause again, it completes the track and gets ready to record the next track. Every time you push play pause, it either begins or stops recording a track. You can record as many tracks as will fit on a CD. When you are done recording, you should finalize the CD so that it will play back on a normal CD player. To do this, push the stop button, then push the finalize button in the upper right. The words finalize OK will appear on the display. At that point, push the knob labeled multi-dial and the disc will begin finalizing. Again, you push the knob labeled multi-dial. When the disc finishes finalizing, it should be playable on any device that plays CDs. To summarize, turn the unit on, stick your blank CD in the tray, put the unit in the record mode, set the level with the tone disc, and start recording. When you are finished recording, Finalize the disk.